The proposed South Mountain Freeway would complete the east-west connection of Loop 202 in the valley. It would run between 22 and 24 miles in length and include three travel lanes and one HOV or carpool lane in each direction. Experts project that by 2030, nearly 50% of the population growth in Maricopa County will occur in the southwestern and southeastern portions of the Phoenix metropolitan area. As the population grows, the need for housing and employment will increase as well. The Loop 202 South Mountain Freeway is being proposed to meet the demands those increases will have on our transportation system. Public participation is an important part of the environmental review process in freeway projects like this one. In fact, it is required by federal law. Whether you oppose the project, support the project, or are somewhere in between, it is important that we receive your comments on the draft EIS. The National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA, was established in 1969. NEPA establishes a framework that allows federal agencies to consider a multitude of factors, including environmental concerns, when making project-related decisions. The act also ensures the public an opportunity to be involved in the planning and environmental review process. As you learn about the proposed freeway, we hope you will ask questions, share your ideas, and express any concerns you may have. NEPA requires agencies to consider any impact a proposed project may have on the physical, natural, and human environment. The NEPA process ensures that relevant information about a project and its impacts are available before decisions are made and actions are taken. You have first-hand knowledge of the places and resources in your community and may have valuable information on how the proposed South Mountain Freeway could impact those places and resources environmentally, socially, and economically. We want to hear from you. A key milestone in the NEPA process is the production of a detailed study document called the Draft Environmental Impact Statement, or Draft EIS. The Draft EIS discusses and documents the impacts of a proposed project. After completed, it is released to the public for a 90-day review and comment period. It is during this 90-day period that you may read the document and provide your comments. Public comments are important and can affect the proposed freeway. Therefore, comments made during the 90-day comment period will be considered, addressed, and answered in the final EIS document. You can get information about the draft EIS by visiting the study website, azdot.gov slash South Mountain Freeway. Once there, you can sign up for the e-newsletter, add your name to the mailing list, find the locations where you can review the draft EIS, and get information about upcoming hearings and forums. You can also call the study phone line at 602-712-7006. Information about the release of the draft EIS and about upcoming meetings will also be published in the newspaper, local publications, and the Federal Register. During the 90-day comment period, there will be several ways for you to submit your comments on the draft EIS, including online, by mail, phone, or email. You will also have several opportunities to talk with technical experts, learn about the proposed project, and provide your comments in person at a public hearing, an online hearing, or at community forums. The public hearing will be held at the Phoenix Convention Center. At the public hearing, you can watch a video about the South Mountain Freeway study, talk to technical staff, and review a wide variety of study materials. At the hearing, you can submit comments in one of three ways. In person to a panel of study team members, you'll be limited to three minutes, verbally to a court reporter, or in writing on a comment form. Afterwards, all the public hearing materials, including the study video, will be available on the study website. You can view the information and submit your comments online. There will also be community forums held at various locations in the study area after the public hearing. 
technical staff will be at the forums to answer your questions, and project materials, including the video, will be available to view. A court reporter can take your individual verbal comments, or you can fill out a comment form, but no formal hearing will occur at these community forum meetings. Forum locations will be posted on the website, emailed to the e-newsletter subscribers, and published in the newspaper and local publications. To recap, you can learn more about the proposed South Mountain Freeway project and provide comments on the draft EIS in the following ways. Attend the public hearing at the Phoenix Convention Center, go online at azdot.gov slash South Mountain Freeway, or attend a community forum. Remember that comments can be submitted at any time during the 90-day comment period through mail, email, or by phone. After the comment period ends, ADOT will review and address comments in the final EIS document. When the final EIS is published, it will be made available for another public review and comment period, which will last for 60 days. Public input on the Loop 202 South Mountain Freeway study is an integral part of the process. ADOT looks forward to your participation and feedback.